Okay, welcome to question six from example sheet one. Notice this time we've got a cooling problem. So immediately you should be thinking there's going to be no humidification or dehumidification. The amount of moisture in the air is going to remain constant. So specific humidity is going to remain constant. So you should be thinking W1, omega 1, sorry, is equal to omega 2. So you should be thinking this straight away. Okay. Now looking at the question, you can see this is quite important, the, the diameter is given, and remember um, from the equation, volume flow rate is equal to Q, volume flow rate is equal to the velocity times area, so consider this is quite, and remember area is equal to pi r squared. So it's worth bearing this in mind because these are some things we're going to consider. Now what we're also given in the question is 1 ATM, so you should be thinking about the psychometric chart um, from page 46 of the thermal property tables. Um, we're also given the input, the temperature on entry and also relative humidity on entry and 18 meters per second, which is of course this value here. Um, of course you can work out this here as well. Um, perhaps it would be more straightforward if I were to put this here as a large Q with a dot. Um, okay, um, you're also given the rate of heat removed from the air, 100, uh, 1200 kilojoules per minute, and um, you're asked to find a series of values, the exit temperature, exit relative humidity of the air, and the exit velocity. In order, in order to find out what we want to know, um, which is the temperature at T2, we're interested in T2, and we're interested in the relative humidity at 2 also, and finally we're interested in the exit velocity. Okay, so in order to find these values, so we basically need, if we can find any two values at point 2, then we're, any, we're able to find these values, the top two values here, just using chart A31 from the thermodynamics property table booklet. So the, the values that we could of course find are relative humidity, of course, um, dew point temperature, um, omega, specific humidity, um, enthalpy, H, specific volume, which you can then use to find the velocity here, of course, using the equations we've highlighted on the top right there. Now, and then finally the wet bulb temperature. Now I'd suggest you pause the video and have a think about which values we're going to try and find in order to work out what we need. Okay, so this is key because as we said earlier, W1 is equal to W2. So we're interested in finding that value. And the other value we're interested in finding is of course the specific volume which we can find using the equation that we've got on the top right because of what's provided. Okay. So those are the two. Okay, so let's return let's return to what we're given. So we know at point one we know the temperature thirty two degrees T one and we know relative humidity is equal to 30%. So, using chart A31, as you've seen uh, in previous videos, if you're not sure how to do this, please check the previous videos. We, what we find here is W1 is equal to 9 grams of H2O per kilogram of dry air. And remember, W1 is all, so this is our W2, we also know this value here, okay.
Well, so from the chart, we can also find that the specific volume at 1 is equal to 0.876. And this, is, you, this will become apparent why we need this. Because we know the values at 1, and the energy leaving the system is also given as well as the values to calculate the mass flow rate, from the energy balance, we can find that we know that E in is equal to E out. So we know that M dot H1 minus Q out is equal to Q. Mass conserved in the system, so therefore we know that M1 is equal to M2. So we can find H2. And once we found H2, then we have our two values that we need. Velocity 1 times area. As we said previously, area is equal to pi r squared. So therefore, we can find V1 is equal to 18 times pi times 0.2 squared because we've converted from centimeters into meters to keep the units consistent to 0.262 meter cube per second. Okay, and from the chart and previously earlier, we found that V1 was equal to 0.876 and we know that specific volume is equal to the volume over the mass flow rate, or, well, volume over mass, or volume flow rate over mass flow rate. So what you'll find there is 2.22 divided by 0.876 will give us, and we can work out the units here as well, kg, and you see that's going to cancel. And what you're going to end up with is 2.582 kilograms per second. And there's your mass flow rate. Okay, and since we worked out the energy balance, we know that M1 H1 minus Q out equal to M2 H2 Q out equal to M1 H1 minus M2 H2 but remember M1 is equal to M2 which is just equal to M so we can simplify this down quite considerably Q out is equal to M dot bracket H1 minus H2 now to rearrange to find H2, you'll see that H1 minus Q out over M H2 is equal to 56 minus bracket 1200 divided by 60 all over 2.582. H2 is then equal to 48.2. 5 kilojoules per kg. Okay, so when we scroll back up, we can see H2 there for 825 kilojoules per kg. So then simply, we've now got our two values at point 2. So we can go back to using chart A31 from the thermodynamics property table booklet and quite simply find the values required for A, which is V2. You can easily find from the chart using the techniques which have been covered, 25 degrees C and a relative humidity of 46%. Okay, now what's only left to find here is the velocity at 2. Now we can use a sim similar technique because we know Q is equal to the velocity times 
the area as we previously did, and we know specific volume is equal to the volume flow rate over the mass flow rate. And we previously found the mass flow rate, but watch how we can simplify this if we know that V1 is equal to Q1, Q2, V2. So we know velocity times area velocity one times area over the volume at one is equal to the velocity two times the area over specific volume at two. But we know that we can cancel these because the area is constant. And then we can simply rearrange this to find velocity two, which is equal to velocity one times specific volume two divided by specific volume at one and this quite simply equates to 18 times 0.56 divided by 0.876 and the velocity of two is found to be 17.59 meters per second. Thanks.